Hello and welcome to The Gradual Report. My name is Daniel, although your mother probably calls me Big Daddy, and for good reason, because I have a giant imagination. You probably thought I was gonna say pee-pee, didn't you? You're a dirty birdie! Today, we investigate daydreams. It's those dreams you have during the day while you're awake. Welcome to The Gradual Report, where we gradually Report. In the last few years, many studies in cognitive and system neuroscience found a consistent network of brain regions, referred to as the default network, showed high levels of activity when no explicit task was being performed. Translation from the man in the mask. When you're not thinking of anything, your brain is thinking of something. Oh my gosh! Who was that? What did he say? I... but it was important. In the Research Center of Computer Medicine, Chinese Academy of Science, Beijing, China. Great! Now that we know where the information is coming from, we know how much we can trust its accuracy. Oh my gosh! Who was that? What did he say? I bet it was important. Uh, back to China. Scientists were able to model this default network as an undirected weighted graph, and then use graph theory to investigate the topological properties of the default network between two different groups of people of differing intelligence levels. Graph theory? Well, that sounds like scientific hocus-pocus that smart people use to take cheese away from dumb people. Oh my gosh, who was that? What did he say? I better than that. They found that in both groups, the posterior cingulate cortex showed the greatest degree in comparison to the other brain regions in the default network. So basically, if you use words that are specific enough to parts of your brain, then whatever you say next, people are going to believe. Oh my gosh, who was that? What did he say? I better want number one. Scientists found evidence that indicates the functional integration of the default network might be related to the individual's intelligence performance. Basically, smart people daydream deeper and more than the dumb people. Oh my gosh, I think he's got it. Final summation. While daydreaming, your brain is actually more active than when your brain is focused on a particular problem. Daydreams, once thought to be a total waste of time, are slowly being recognized, at least by scientists, to be an actual process of active thought. Though these thought processes may include unicorns being ridden by golden sausage makers as their guide, your daydreams aren't your regular thoughts, but you are thinking. I believe Einstein said it best when he said, When I examine myself and my methods of thought, I come close to the conclusion that the gift of fantasy has meant more to me than my talent for absorbing positive information. After all, without imagination, knowledge is just a list of ingredients. And a list of ingredients does not a cookie make. Oh my god, who's that? I don't know. This cookie tastes good. I love you, my little lemon drops. Do leave a comment below of your favorite daydreams. I'd be curious to read them. And don't forget to join us on Friday when we continue our very important work. Mom, 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 mom.